Hello everyone, welcome back. So, uh, if you watched the last episode, you'll know that, uh, unfortunately, my house burned down. If we head up this scaffolding, you'll see we've got a bit of a mess up here. I had a lightning rod on top of this roof, and a thunderstorm came through while I was AFK and unfortunately scorched the uh, entirety of this roof. I'm just laughing to myself. How ridiculous is that? The one moment I'm away from my keyboard... This thing decides to burn down. Anyways, so uh, I've been planning on doing this for a long time. If you guys watch, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys are going to know about this, but some of you will. If we go over here, you'll see I actually started redoing the house and like changed up the colors. This is what it used to look like over here. We obviously changed it up with this white and red pattern. And so I kind of wanted to do that over here as well and kind of just... I don't know, stick with that kind of style. I really, I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can. I really like the white color palette. So I want to continue working with that over here. Um, and so unfortunately, for those of you who like the wood house, I think this is probably its final days. I'm going to remodel this thing today. Um, this should be a shorter episode. It probably won't take me that long to do this. So I don't know if we'll just do this today or if some more stuff will be added in this video but i'm going to get to work on this right now let me show you the blocks we're going to be using today all right so i think what we're going to do is leave all of the oak logs and leave the planks in here the shape of the house will remain the same we're just going to get rid of the roof and get rid of the oak planks in here did i just did i say that right i i have no idea what i even just said the oak logs will stay <laughs> the oak planks will go and the spruce wood stairs will also go. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to change the trim as well. I think we'll like just do the roof and then decide if the trim is going to stay. But here is the block palette that we're going to use. This cobblestone will stay down here. And above the cobblestone, we're going to have this white block. And then for the roof, we're going to have this nice black here. So uh, obviously we use granite on that side. And then we used um, the warped wood, whatever the blue one is over there on that roof. Uh, and obviously both walls are white on that side. So I wanted to use a different color and I feel like the black is cool. And I don't think I've used polished black stone brick stairs in any of my builds yet. So this one will be new. So I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. So I say uh, let's start with the walls first because that's probably the easiest thing. And then we'll move on from there. Now, I do have a lot of sentimental value with things in my world. I don't like to change stuff all that often, but I do have to remember, just like in real life as well, things get remodeled and changed over time. So it's not that sad. Things need to be updated around here, and I think there's no better time to do it than right now after my house has been tragically burned down. So I guess we're just going to start with this right here. I think how I'm going to do this is kind of the same with what we do with everything. So um, I'm going to place all of the white wool first on the walls so that we get that white color that we're looking for. And then we'll go back in and texture it and add different blocks of the shade. Like we obviously have the calcite here. Uh, we're using the white wool as the base. And then I think we've got some diorite and polished diorite here as well. So I can place those down for you guys so you can see uh, the difference in texture. So we'll probably use all four of those throughout this whole thing. But I think the white wool is going to be our main uh, placing block that we're going to use for the wall here. Okay, I believe that is all of the walls completed there. So that got pretty much most of them. I do think we need to do some redesigning here, especially with these trap doors. There's so many trap doors and there just doesn't need to be that many of them. So I might go through and get rid of a lot of those and uh, we'll do some sort of redesigning there. All right, before we do the roof, I actually wanted to make another one of those pathways. <laughs> I just, re oh, okay. Take a deep breath, relax. Not everything needs to be said at 100 miles an hour. Okay, before we finish the roof, I wanted to make another pathway leading up here out of stone buttons and stone pressure plates. So I'm just gonna kind of throw them in here randomly like this. 
I don't know, something like that. And I'm definitely going to redesign this as well because I just don't like the way this looks these days. I feel like I can do much better. So uh, we'll clean this up here. All right. And then we can just go through and place a bunch of these. And I think I'm going to make one going this direction towards the bridge as well. All right. And then what I wanted to do was go in here at random points and just sprinkle in some andesite. All right. So we can just grab some andesite in here and just kind of drop those in and that'll help fill up um, kind of that path, make it look a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is, but I, I like having those blocks in there to kind of uh, you see you see what I mean it just like kind of completes that path all right so I am literally just going to delete all of the spruce planks we have here and just replace it with blackstone very straightforward uh, there there's really no point in explaining the design of this because you guys can see how it was done I'm just following where these lines are so shouldn't be very hard Okay, the roof has been replaced as well as with the walls, but I just want to make this look more modern. I want to make it look better. So the first thing I'm going to do, sadly, is take the flag down. I just don't think that fits this anymore. Uh, we can keep it, of course, on the clock tower and on the castle and stuff like that, which I think I still need to add flags over there now that I look. Um, but as for this one, uh, this is my house. This is an A castle, so these are coming down. Okay, I think I'm going to pick spots where I'm going to remove these trap doors. So uh, I think I'm going to keep them on this one right here, but I'm going to remove them from this side because <laughs> this, let's just say I wasn't the best builder back then when I originally made this house. So there's a lot of uh, what I like to call overdoing it around here. So uh, these are really annoying. Can I turn this down? Yeah, I just want to get rid of these trap doors. We're going to texture this and make it look much, much better. So don't worry. But as for now, these just don't fit. Oh my gosh. It looks so bare now. It's like a completely different looking thing. That is so funny. Well, I've ran into our, our uh, first issue here. I don't know how I feel about this cobblestone anymore. I don't really know like what to change this trim to gonna experiment a little bit I'm gonna try some spruce logs I feel like that could be one way to go about doing this if we place it horizontally like this that's one block we could use to kind of separate that I feel like that one's nice or uh, spruce planks could work as well because those are kind of the same tone as that log right there so I think honestly the spruce planks work the best for me so i think i'm going to replace just this trim right here this middle trim with spruce planks just so that it's not all so gray in there wow this is like a completely different build now it's crazy how fast things can change i just i don't think i like those trap doors at all so i think i'm just going to get rid of them now i wonder will this cobble deep sleet work a little better than this cobblestone on the bottom it's a different block it's a lot darker and because we have that dark roof this light contrast isn't really working anymore so i think that might work a lot better that's a much heavier contrast and it really carries the bottom foundation so i think i'm going to try this all the way around okay that's all of that replaced now very important to note, you don't want to be too harsh on yourself just yet when it comes to replacing this thing because my eyes have been used to seeing this color palette, right? So when you change something up for the first time, it's going to be a little different. It's going to take you a few minutes to get used to it, but I think I'm liking this a lot more than what we had. So our gradient is going to be the polished diorite, or excuse me, our, our gradient is going to work like this. It's going to be the diorite into the polished diorite into the calcite which is lastly going to transition into the white wool so we've got lots of colors to go through so i think right here is a good place to start so uh, let's get our shears so we can break this and we'll just get rid of all these guys over here and then what i'm going to do is use the 
uh, polished diorite as our first block. Or excuse me, I messed up, messed up. Not that one. We want the diorite as our first block because this is the darkest out of all of them. And then uh, we want to transition to the polished diorite after that. So we'll head down a few blocks and we'll do something like this. We'll kind of invert that pattern, if you will. And then I'm just going to place two calcite right here. And now as we walk away, you'll see that transition is much smoother now. So we've got a nice little gradient there. So I'm basically going to do that for the whole thing now. All right. So after all that, now you can see we've textured the whole thing. And I just love the way this looks. It looks so much better. It's kind of like a weird little twist on our cottage that we built over here. So once this comes into view, uh, you can see kind of the same color palette that white and black situation we got going on over there uh, so i kind of wanted to replicate that over here but in a little bit of a different style so i think it whoa what was that just jumped somehow um i kind of like how it turned out i, I do want to rework this in the front this is a little weird looking i haven't been in here in forever how are these guys doing they're still around they look like they're hanging in there this one doesn't have a name tag. I, I remember green stack. There he is. And there was one more, wasn't there? I don't remember. Groovy. That's who it is. Hello, Groovy. All right. I feel like we should definitely do one of our patented little things that we uh, have. I have no idea what you would even call them, but you use the buttons, uh, trap doors, and a sign in like a sequential order. So you put the buttons on the outside like that. And then you get the trap door, put that in the middle, and then just take two signs and just put them on the side like that. And it kind of creates like a interesting little framework thing. So for every time we have uh, a big empty space like that, I'm going to do something like that. We should have another one over here. I am going to replace all of the glass with blacked stained glass because uh, we did that over on the cottage and I really love how that turned out. So I want to kind of replicate that same look and I feel like it's going to make this look a lot better. So uh, I just really like how the black stained glass looks with those blocks. So um, I'm going to do that and replace all of these windows with black stained glass. All right. I believe that is every window replaced if I'm not mistaken. So Oh yeah, I'm loving how that looks. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's a little weird. It looks like a modern house. Like this just looks like the houses <laughs> that are around where I live, which I, I unintentionally kind of did that, but it's like a, um, it's almost like a suburban kind of, I don't know what you would call that, but, um, yeah, very interesting. Now I'm going to try something different here. I've never done this before, but I want to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to try doing uh, lighter leaves at the top and then doing these birch leaves at the bottom. So so I'm going to look for little spots where there's like uh, corners, like over here, there should be a corner like this. And that's where I'm going to take these oak leaves and droop them down. I'm going to go to birch right here though. And then you want to get that leaf right in that corner. And we're going to send that down like this. So I think that works quite nicely. Want to have maybe maybe one right there. It looks like it would be a good spot for one. I noticed a major problem with my old buildings, which was uh, too many leaves. <laughs> I kind of went a little overboard with it. So I'm trying to tone it back a little bit so that it at least makes a little more sense. And it's not just entirely out of control uh, so because that just looks like a house that's uh not well kept it's just crazy so i want to make this look a little more uh you know taken care of like we do our landscaping around here so all right you and i are going to try something together i have no idea if this is going to work but i really want to try this technique i don't think i've seen this done before in minecraft so I am going to make an autumn-like bush, and I think I'm going to put it over here. Now, 
This is a unique bush because we are not going to be using that many leaves. So uh, that's why I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> but I want to try it with you guys because I think this is going to be cool. Um, so we've got lots and lots of different blocks here that we're going to use. So I want to strip these first off. And then uh, you can kind of see where this is going. So I've got so many different colors of glass. And um, I'd love to have more glass panes as well, actually. But I want this to be an autumn-like bush. So I want it to have a lot of color. So I'm purposely going to add uh, that color inside the whole thing so that it's like... You know, just very colorful on the inside, <laughs> if you will. And so then I'm going to add some glass. And what I'm going to do is this is why I wanted the glass panes. All right. So then I was kind of picturing we can use these like uh, glass panes as a way to like sort of be leaves. And I'm going to make sure I place them on ones that are not their color. So kind of like I'm doing right now. Maybe something like this. I, I really don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> but I really, really, really wanted to try it. So I'm giving it a go. Ah, it's kind of working. It is definitely kind of working. Oh, I didn't mean to put that one there. I mean, that looks like a red and yellow bush. And I wanted to throw leaves in there so that, like, you could tell it's a plant. <laughs> I don't know how the leaves are going to look. But I wanted to, like, drop a few in there at least. I think I'm going to remove this one and place one down in there. And then maybe one up here. And then we still have to do the back as well. Like, just kind of throw those in there. Maybe this is what I don't know is, are the oak leaves going to work? I wanted to throw a few oak leaves in there. Something like this, maybe. I can't really tell. I don't know. Does, does that work? Does that work as a colorful bush? I feel like it's... I feel like we could improve on that. I feel like that has potential to be something really cool. I just haven't really figured out how we're going to do that yet. But I would... Uh, I'd put this one in the... Um, whatever. Put this one in the idea box. And we might take this out another time and try and get this to work because I feel like there's definitely a lot of potential here. <laughs> I can tell it's some sort of a plant, but can you guys tell <laughs> that it's a plant? I don't know. There's definitely potential. There's definitely potential with this. And I think we're going to revisit that idea at some point. I'm going to leave that right there like the way it is, because I think if we build this as a tree, like do the same technique, but in that type of shape, that's going to look really, really good. Uh, just in a bush form. Don't know if it works, but we'll keep it there for now. Okay, what I did want to do though was really build some nice trees around here. So I want one right here in this sight line, kind of right in front of this thing. And then I want another one right over here. And uh, maybe we can add a few more over time. But I'm going to uh, use polished basalt for the base and then i'm going to go to tough walls and then go to spruce fence as our final thing so kind of a interesting little color combination here so uh, i think let's see where do what block do we need to put that on so if we're standing here this is like our main sight line right and so we want it to be right in this gap right here so i think somewhere along this block right here maybe right exactly where this is actually So I don't really know how I'm going to build this. We're kind of just going <laughs> to do this together. So I think I'm going to go three high on the polished basalt. No, let, let, let's make it higher. I wanted it to be like a really tall tree. So I'm going to go way up here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's probably enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's a good height there. That that's pretty high. That that that's almost with the roof line, honestly. So, uh, if we jump down, you can see the height of it. That that was about what I wanted. I wanted them to be really tall. So, uh, now we can go in and uh, just start adding some like little branches down here. And then I really wanted to use 
uh, the stone buttons and spruce buttons. And so kind of like just throw a few of those guys in there, right? Make it look like they're little stubs growing or something like that. All right, so there's our starting shape. I think I'm going to go with the B-dub style tree, which is like the the big pine tree where it kind of circles around and it circles up in layers. So I feel like that would look really cool. So we don't need to do any down here. Maybe we could add just like, you know, a few of these guys on some of these so that like there's just a little bit of something down there. Maybe something like that, but then uh, towards probably this middle one right here is when we're going to start that ring. So, oh, dang it, I just wasted those. All right, so here's how I'm going to make this. So I have birch leaves and oak leaves. And so I'm going up about five blocks or so. I think my first layer is going to be uh, maybe right here. I don't know which block this is, but I'm going to use the darker leaves on the inside. And then I'm going to transition to these ones afterwards. So, right, so there you go. You can see the first layer right there. So basically, I'm just going to copy that two or three more times and then narrow it in and make it very narrow towards the top. I feel like maybe I could add some branches in here somehow. Maybe just like a few little things hanging down like this. All right, and there we go. That's our little custom tree. So I actually went in with some green stained glass and made some panes. And uh, you can see how I did that on the uh, the branch there is kind of like I made them into like little branches kind of, you know, for lack of a better term, branching off of the tree. So uh, I really like how that turned out. And then we have the oak leaves all sprinkled throughout there. But I think I just need to like mesh it a little better together. So I'm going to go in there. Uh, right now and kind of clean that up but I really really like how this turned out especially with a different variants of leaves I think it just looks really cool so uh, I like the fact that we have one right there might build another one right over here as well but uh yeah awesome little tree well it's not very little is it all right now we need to make this look better so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like we did with that having the oak leaves surround it I think I'm just going to do the same thing for this and just kind of throw a whole bunch of oak leaves and uh, the green stained glass planes, planes, panes. There we go. And um, I'm going to try the moss carpet technique as well. Can you place that on leaf? Oh, you can't. All right. That is an excellent little trick there. That's going to give us a lot more green in this uh, lovely little thing here. So, um, yeah, I guess we can just start throwing those in there. I'll go through with this first and just kind of. Add them at random. All right, we have completely transformed that tree. That looks so much better now. Wow. Yeah, we. Uh, I think we definitely need to do that for all of them. I really, really like how that turned out, actually. That is so cool. Uh, I think that might do it for today. I'm now looking at this bush again. I just saw it. I think this this idea has potential, guys. This idea has potential to be something great. I think we just need to perfect it. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today's video. I absolutely love how these trees turned out. I think we need to make a bunch more of these around the whole property. So I think wherever I have those spruce trees, I'm just going to completely redesign them into those. And I'm going to add much more as well, especially where there's kind of a lot of these empty spaces. So um, yeah, I absolutely love how these trees turned out and the new house looks excellent as well. I'm so happy I decided to change that. Um, and I feel like it matches my modern building style much more. So we'll go over everything here one more time so uh, obviously we renovated the uh, pathway in here we have this lovely little stone path now uh, here is the first tree that we made using polished basalt tough the buttons green stained glass panes birch leaves oak leaves kind of did that weird little pattern in there and then uh, this is like a mini scale version of that tree so you can see uh, up close how it was done with the glass panes hanging as well. That's a very important part of all this. And then on this one, we experimented with the moss carpets as well. I, I actually like how that turned out. And we used some different blocks like the smooth basalt and cobbled deep slate stairs. And so from a distance, I just really love 
how these trees look, especially with the glass hanging. I feel like that adds so much to the leaves. So I'm really, really happy with our changes today. I think that was awesome. But before we end off today's video, of course, we have to answer the comment of the day. All right, today's comment of the day comes from InRise? In rows, in rise, something like that. And they say, uh, the chandelier and stained glass mural feel more like art than Minecraft blocks. I think that's a big part of what keeps us coming back to your channel. Your builds aren't just pretty to look at, they genuinely feel good to witness. Well, thank you very much for the kind words about my builds. And I really liked this comment because I wanted to discuss why I build the way that I do. And uh, we've been over this in videos before and why I play this game in the uh, in the way that I play. And that's that this is kind of just like making art for me. So by no means am I good at painting. I do not know how to draw or how to paint, but I've always been a very creative person. And so I'm sure if I spent time learning how to do it and watched tutorials and whatnot, I would eventually learn how to paint but I see Minecraft as a painting. So this whole thing, especially with the trees, granted this design is very much inspired off of the B-dubs trees, but the whole design of having those little moss carpets, the, the stained glass, the things poking out, when I'm building these builds, I'm almost picturing it as if I have a paintbrush in my hand and I'm just making slight little strokes or um, drawing different types of lines and, you know, really visualizing what your perspective is when you're walking through this world. If you notice, I mentioned that quite a bit when I'm building is what is the sight line? What is the perspective? And that is what I think allows my builds to feel like artwork is because I'm always thinking about what your guys's perspective is when I'm building, because I want you guys to really feel encapsulated in the build so that's why i put this tree right here is because of that perspective you could see there's there was this huge gap here in the sky and so i really wanted the tree to feel like it was um overhanging you in this in this area in this property and that's why i have those two trees right there is because if you look at our at our perspective that completely covers the left side completely covers the right side and it makes you feel like you're uh, kind of encapsulated in this tiny little forest area. Granted, we need more trees, but um, that's kind of the whole process behind it, right? I just want you guys to feel like you're really here in this world. And so I view my building more as making artwork and painting pictures instead of just building in Minecraft. And so that's why I use a lot of the different colors and methods that I do is because I really truly do see it as I'm drawing or painting a picture. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting the channel. There's no new donators for today. Uh, so we just have uh, the same ones in the book, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much. Remember that we are releasing the world at 5,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that now. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. That's about it.